briefly talk a little bit about 2017. Uh, in 2017, we kept the municipal tax increase to 0.8%, and among other things, focused on projects that we believe will ensure that Chatham Grove is well positioned for a sustainable future. Key among these projects were the completion of the build-out analysis for the sewer treatment facility, which we share with our friends in Madison, <coughs> and also um, uh, uh, which, which, where we looked at that because we have to figure out how to have an organized approach to expand that capacity. We also began studying the redevelopment potential of Post Office Plaza, adopting an approach that we had promised we would adopt that was based on extensive community outreach. We worked with the New Jersey Department of Transportation, New Jersey Transit, mm -hmm. and Morris County planning officials to continue our efforts and our efforts to address traffic and commuter issues uh, throughout the community. And we continue to improve our municipal water structure and infrastructure water, and we improved our park plans, including at Liberty Park, Kelly's Pond, and began the Riverside Trail that begins at Shepherd College Park. We did have a bit of a stumble on the Post Office Plaza project, and we had the unexpected task of transitioning to a new borough administrator. But we are going into 2018 with everything back on track. 2018 will be a year of challenges and more hard work. The key project will be the Post Office Plaza Redevelopment Study, which will continue to improve community outreach as a development plan is created, and hopefully, as we get further along in the year, discussions with potential developers will begin. In addition, we will, among other tasks, work with Madison to finalize the capital improvement plan for the sewage treatment facility, apply to renew our sustainable jersey certification at at least the silver level. We will address the challenges presented by significant commercial and residential developments in neighboring communities. We will undertake a reevaluation of property values because the assessment ratio, the ratio of assessed value to market value, dropped to 82% at the end of 2017, and the state requires that you do a reval when that drops below 85%. We will move forward with necessary improvements to our roads and water utility infrastructure. We will purchase technology to make it easier for us to keep track of requests for service from the public. We will continue to work with NJDOT and county officials to develop approaches to address the traffic on Main Street. And, in fact, uh, starting next week, we will explore with New Jersey Transit the possibility of establishing a new additional train station on River Road in the Gateway area. Our capital budget planning over the next two years will be particularly challenging because, in addition to the normal infrastructure work, we will have to budget for the work to be done at the city treatment plant address the capital needs of the library for its renovated, modernized, and reorganized project, which can hopefully be funded in part by funds from the library construction bond act that was just passed in November. And we will have to look very closely at the needs of the fire department. These are only the highlights. There will be much, much more. And as I say every year, all of this will require the efforts of volunteers and the participation of the community. It is only by working together that we can continue to develop and implement plans that will ensure that Chatham Borough remains the great community it is, a place that embodies the past, the present, and the future, and in which both current and future generations can thrive.